this isn't something I knew like 30 years ago. None of that is possible if you don't have passion for your craft. Welcome back to the Sky's Limit podcast with your hosts, Mike and Ryan. I'm Ryan. Today, we have an awesome guest, 40 plus years of experience. Jeff Wright, he is a coach. He's a speaker. He has opened nine Remax offices. He is a West Point grad. He runs the High Riser Mentorship Club. He has done a ton of stuff, a whole rap sheet of awards. He is a very, very accomplished person. We are honored to have him, honestly. Um, with that, I want to bring him in right away. Coach Jeff Wright, why don't we start with uh, just who you are, how you got started, and a little bit about yourself. Well, first of all, thanks for having me on the show. Uh, look forward to our time together. So my bio goes back to like when the dinosaurs roamed the earth. Um, I've actually been licensed in real estate since 1980. So that would <laughs> put us in the 43 year mark um, and actually got licensed in Lawton, Oklahoma when I was an officer in the army. I had gone to West Point undergrad and always had this entrepreneurial spirit. So I started my journey in Oklahoma, came back to Connecticut and started a brokerage in Connecticut in 1987. Uh, so we're going into our 37th year since 1987 doing that. And in that journey, um, spent a lot of time just both in the residential and commercial space, um, and just been blessed with a great team. My firm, Remax Right Choice, is, has nine locations in Connecticut, and uh, we try to rock it every day. That's awesome. Yeah, congrats on all your success, and thank you again for for uh, agreeing to come on the uh, the podcast. I think a lot of people, a lot of our listeners, can certainly benefit from what you uh what you have to offer and share i mean you're the broker of nine remax offices throughout connecticut most of them top performing offices um you do residential uh, brokerage work commercial brokerage work you have a podcast now um you have a course for um, a lot of uh, residential agents to to take and learn and, and how to get into commercial um uh, brokerage. So yeah, I mean, congrats on all your success. And I'm sure we can, we can certainly take away a couple uh, golden nuggets here um, for ourselves as, as we're investors and lenders and, and uh, I'm a commercial agent as well. So um, yeah, really excited to get started. I would probably say, um, oh, I'd like to ask um, selfishly, what do you, what do you like more after doing it all? We'll say, do you like, um, do you like the residential side of it more? Do you like the commercial side, both coaching, teaching, and, and brokerage? Yeah, so it's kind of been a phasing in my career. So early in my career, I did a lot more of the residential work, and I don't do as much of that right now. My team does. Um, my son heads up our team, and, and we do all aspects of residential. But where I spend most of my time outside of running the brokerage is in the commercial space, especially larger commercial deals. And um, I've done a, a bunch of land development work. So when I came into the business in 1987 here in Connecticut, um, outwardly, I'm this quiet, confident gentleman. Internally, I have this burning desire to be great and to do just great stuff. And I looked at the world and I said, how do I compete with these big firms when you're just starting a firm? And I looked at the real estate space and I didn't see anyone that dominated in the land and new construction development world. So I literally went really hard after that, um, really hard in, in my career. I've done now 50 plus development deals. Um, so I, that, commercial deal, those deals, and then most of all, the coaching and mentoring, um, which is the reason why I wrote the course, Commercial Real Estate for Residential Realtors, and that coaching and mentoring has always been just part of my soul, um, both from the sports world, coaching our firm, and just really trying to help anyone that I can just to elevate themselves in life, personally or professionally. So. Um, that's what I enjoy and my time, whatever time I'm given, blessed to have on this earth is really, I want to focus on just helping people realize 
there's another level inside them or maybe two or maybe three just to really be great. Yeah. That's incredible. That's, that's really awesome. I, we, we had a coach. We are, I'm a huge proponent of coaching. I, I really like it. I'm actually not, not to, you know, whatever, but I'm potentially in the market for a, for a coach. But um, I, I think there's a lot of value in it. A lot of people that I talk to that are successful have coaches. I, I know you would agree with this. A lot of like the really, really top performers have coaches. So you think that, you know, whoever is like the top guy in your industry or gal, they've got coaches most likely. I mean, it's like you think that they, they don't need a coach, but they have coaches. Like it's whether it's, I think the most favorite thing that we had with our coach was just the accountability. You know, it's like, okay, we're going to execute on these items. We're going to meet next week. It's like, do you want to show up and not have it done? Not right. really. Yeah. Right. Like, so that was one of the biggest things is to like, make sure we're executing on things. Cause you know, to a fault, we just have a lot going on, a lot of different things going on with our own portfolio, with the podcast. You know, Mike is obviously an agent. I do, um, I do lending. Uh, so there's a lot going on. So to keep ourselves accountable and, and having that coach was, was huge. It was really important for us. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I would just add to that is that as we look at the world and we look at great athletes, great performers in the music theater world, everyone will tell you there's someone that's coaching them at some level to do something. And so that coaching part to me is um, accountability is a big part of it for some folks. The other thing for me that is more, not so much the accountability, but just helping people understand the past to build confidence and to be able to have success. And it's not, Jeff Wright saying, this is what you have to do to create success. I've spent a lifetime enjoying studying success and watching things people have done and watching things that I wish I knew differently when I was going through my own life journey. So, so much of what I teach is either from mistakes I've made in the real estate space or things I wish I knew that I want to just really tighten that window for somebody. But most of all, for me, the coaching part is to elevate, to help people build confidence that they're capable of doing yeah. some special stuff. Yeah, no, totally agree. Um, I want to read just something I took off your website that I really liked. Um, so you were, you were specifically talking about agents, but correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's applicable to anyone. So I'm going to sort of paraphrase a little bit, but basically if someone has the right to, the right education and training coupled with coaching and mentoring, plus a belief that they can succeed, they would gain the confidence that would allow them to thrive in their careers. I thought that was really powerful. It's it was just very it's kind good. of sums up kind of everything you were just mentioning. Yeah. And, and I say amen to that. Um, and please, I cannot emphasize this enough is that this isn't something I knew like 30 years ago. This is something over time that I've developed, and I literally call it my success pyramid. It's what I run my firm around. It's what I tell people in life, um, because all of us, if you look at that pyramid, there's got to be a great foundation in life, personally or professionally, for us to have maximum success. Great foundation. And that's the training and education. But if it was only training and education, all of us could just go to master class on the internet and we'd learn how to invest or we'd learn how to do this. And we just know that's not the case. That we, we can study something, but we still need somebody to guide us or answer questions or bounce things off of. So that's why I call it that coaching and mentoring part. But you also have to have the belief. You know, and if you don't have the belief system, you can do this. You're just not going to get there. So when you combine all those things, it ultimately, if you can put them all together, it allows you to get into the confidence mode. Um, but I just, I, just if I could emphasize two things, and people that know me will hear this all the time, is that all of us, I don't care what somebody got for grades in high school or college. It, it really doesn't matter to me. What matters is in our chosen profession today, whatever we're doing, we've got the ability to be an A-plus student in that profession if we want to go after it. So if you want to be and will be an A-plus student, 
and you have the desire, and this is the second magical component. You have to have the desire. Like, there's no doubt in my mind, you guys have the desire to do great things. You wouldn't be doing what you're doing. So it's it's not just taking the education. You have to combine these other things to reach maximum success. Yeah, I think plus two. I think a lot of it comes down to passion. I mean, you obviously have a passion for helping others and coaching them to be the best that they can do. And we have a passion for real estate and investing and, and educating other people. We're actually launching a course of, you know, how to get started in real estate investing and, and it applies to a lot of people. So we're, we're, that's like kind of our baby, our passion project project right now. And, um, the, the, this podcast kind of, um, you know, started from that emphasis as well as like, how can you get your message out to the most amount of people? Um, you know, and, and I think there's a lot of people out there who, who don't know how to buy a first house or in your case are residential agents. And, you know, there's a lot of untapped potential in the commercial world and it's not as daunting as many people believe it to be. And, you know, to your point, be the best that you, you can be and be that, you know, a plus, but I think none of that is possible if you don't have passion for your craft. Right. So, um, you know, I, yeah, we're just yeah, really excited to, uh, to see like where, where this can go. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually curious. This is also a, maybe a selfish question, but since we are doing the course, like, and you obviously offer mentorship as well. So you, you have a, you have a course, you have mentorship. Do you think that having, if we were to offer our mentorship to our, you know, uh, uh coaching program purchasers so to speak like is that important like do, do we need to be there to take calls like and, and to do that whole side of the business is that is that something that we should provide yes i i personally think it's the magic to the mm. whole whole course i think that and, and if i'll go back to just how i'm structured just to help answer that so the course that I wrote, which is 406 pages and includes a glossary and 52 downloadable math formulas tied to the commercial and residential world, and the rest of it is a course. Um, I did that, and then I did 49 videos that are a total of four hours and 21 minutes, and they're in 60 minutes format. It's just like us talking here to really, I think from a learning standpoint, people will learn much better if they're here in the conversation, the real life stuff. And so, um, so that was the course, but that wasn't doing anything further. That was the student the like reading and listening. So the, the high risers club that we do on Tuesday, Eastern standard time for an hour is geared at the mentorship and coaching. Like we can't individually, this I think will is going to get really big and going to get a lot of students and a lot of people that want to be high risers. How can you coach all of those individually or even do it effectively in a group? So what we did was do a live session that I'm running most of it, but others will teach and I've got experts to come on. But then we also, which something just to think about, is we set up our own private Facebook group for this high risers club. And they're able to ask questions that myself and the staff can answer for them. And that's where ultimately the power to the program, I think, will be is that they've got somebody they can reach out to and can, they can be in Georgia or California or we've got people in Texas, South Carolina. <clears throat> but I think your guys are onto something that's great. I just think the key is, is to how you stay connected with them because the questions are getting answered or what build the confidence. Everything I'm doing is geared at creating a blueprint, let them follow the steps, but helping them build that confidence. And that live training and the answering the questions is what builds yeah. the confidence. Yeah, that makes, that, makes, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you for watching Sky's the Limit. We're always releasing new real estate content, so if there's something you wanna hear, be sure to leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And remember, sky's the limit, dive deep, and invest in how you want to live. See you in the next video.